One of the main problems with sharks is that the populations are declining drastically around the world and it's basically because there's such a high demand for shark fins, especially in Asia. Uh, one of the big problems is the process of finning, where shark fins are removed and the sharks are dumped back in the water and the fins are just exported to Asia. There's been international recognition of the plight of sharks and there have been more and more initiatives to try and protect the various species. The UAE government has also started uh, putting together legislation and different measures to protect various species of sharks. So uh, it's a good sign and hopefully all the research that I've been able to collect will also be useful to enhance the current uh, plans that are in place and uh, develop few more management measures for the protection of sharks. So my name is Rima Shabado, I'm a student at the UAE University. The UAE is one of the largest exporters for shark fins in the world, not necessarily because the fishermen here fish these numbers of sharks, but because it's being used as a hub in the region for re-exporting fins to Asia. So that kind of sparked my interest in this project to try and gain a better understanding of the quantities and the species that are being uh, exploited in this part of the world. No, Ada, you see what you do? Part of my PhD project was to gain a better understanding of uh, shark populations in the Gulf. Uh, I started by doing a lot of market surveys to get an idea of the species that were being caught by the fishermen to look at their distribution and abundance as well as collect biological data, which would help with the conservation of these species. I had the hook, the guy looked at me, he's like, are you serious? I'm like, yes, we test all your range. <laughs> uh, the second part of the project was to try and get fishery independent data, where we went out on the boat and we set long lines and tried to catch sharks to tag them and look at movement for, these, for different species that were potentially Let's caught. Let's see if we caught anything. Part of the research was to also get a better understanding of the status of the different sharks that were here. So I was able to confirm that we have 30 species of sharks that inhabit the Gulf waters of the UAE and get some biological data about them. And what this will help with is try and develop new measures for the management and conservation of sharks in the region.